What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Toss Crime. I'm back with another video. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Shout out to my members, my moderators, and all my subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Um, This video right here, we're going to be talking about the online conference that was done. Um, Where the second pathologist spoke and gave a little bit more detail. A lot of detail. Now, he's already put out a lot of information. But he went in depth about the autopsy. That proves that the state, the first pathologist, the coroner, tampered with Jelani Day's body. Um, This is a trigger warning. It is graphic in how you speak. Um, So, I'm letting you guys know that now. Uh, let me do say one specific thing before we I push play, and I will be stopping and addressing certain things in the midst of it. Um, but before I go, I just had to remove a comment because they don't like the fact that I, I guess, explain. Uh, and I say things, they complain about me saying things more than once. Well. I want to make sure my people get the information. I want to make sure they understand. A lot of times when you say things just one time, people don't understand. It goes right over their head. And then I get the same questions asked in the comments that I've already answered. So at the end of the day, if I want to overly explain, overly answer anything, that's what I'm going to do if you don't like it. Don't watch. Other than that, keep it pushing. Anyway, so let's get into James Bryant, which is the second pathologist that the mama requested for the second autopsy be done on Jelani Day's body. Let's get into it. I, I don't understand the Zoom stuff. Anyway. I was asked to do a second local autopsy. Second local autopsies are at a disadvantage because I'm, I'm depending on the previous person to, to put everything in order for me. So, for example, if they retain some organs, like they may retain the brain for special studies, then the first examiner sees it, but I don't see it. So, so that's what happened. There was the, part of the problem in this case was there was there were things missing, and uh, I don't know why they were missing. So that was one of the things. Let's pause right here for a second. He just said parts of the body were missing. He don't understand why. Like I said, way before this pathologist even gave his results of the finding, when the first, when the state had Jelani's body for 22 days and given excuses of, that they couldn't identify because they didn't have a chemical for the DNA, then they said they was going to do dental. Okay. All that was going on, I said something ain't right. They down there tampering with his body, mutilating it, destroying evidence. And that's what was happening. Now, before he said things was missing, I already knew the state coroner was responsible for those things going missing. Okay? When you complete an autopsy, you bag everything up. You put it in a bag and you put it inside of the body. When you sign away that body, you sign away every or everything you took out, everything. Without going into a lot of detail. Everything you took out, you put back. Name it. Stamp it and send it. You don't keep anything. You don't destroy anything. You don't throw away anything. That's a crime. That's tampering with evidence. That's tampering with a body. You don't do that shit. This pathologist is telling you he didn't receive all the organs, all the body parts. That is against the law. That was not supposed to happen. And then um, uh, there was there was destruction of the body. I couldn't. I couldn't. I could not identify the person. I mean, you're telling me it's your son. Uh, but I, I couldn't confirm that. There was a name tag on the body bag, but there were no name tags on, on him. He didn't have a toe tag, for example. And he was not recognizable. 
something is wrong with that because most deceased bodies have a toe tag. Not just a tag on the body, I mean on the bag, but a tag on the toe as well because you can have another body in the bag and it not be the same person that you got on the bag. The way they did Jelani Day was not the the normal way they do things. There was supposed to be a name tag, Jelani Day on the bag, a name tag on the toe. So he, he didn't even care. The state coroner didn't even care to do that. He didn't do it. And I couldn't tell how old the person was. And it's just things. It was not a, not a not a good exam. I, I, it was a second look autopsy of the worst kind. Hmm. Hmm. So you can you you can determine who the body was. Yeah, I have my I have, I have questions about even who he is. I couldn't tell what race he is. Um. You know, I, I just knew that he was, he was, a, it was, he had a man's name. Uh, his eyeballs were missing from their sockets. And it was, it looked like, um, uh, pathologist the pathologist thank you so much he's not the coroner he was a path so you can you you can determine who the body was yeah i have my i have, I have questions about even who he is i couldn't tell what race he is um you know i, I just knew that he was he was a it was he had a man's name uh his eyeballs were missing from their sockets and it was, it looked like um, a destructive testing was done. It was a, uh, his jaw was sawed and some teeth were missing. And um, I suspect that. So let's pause right there for a second. Let's pause right there. All he knew was the name on the body bag. That's all he knew. That's all Mr. Brand knew the name on the, of the on the body bag he could not tell what race what color he just told you his saw his jaw was sawed off no eyeballs the state wants us to believe that all this damage was due to the water he was just in there 11 days but he wants us to believe all this damage was due to the water when I seen bodies, because I did my research, that been in the water longer than 11 days. And it's not this destroyed. It's not this destructive. Now, they found them face down so I could say, okay, the eyeballs. Okay, I give them that. But the, the corner saw the jawbone. And this man don't know why you would do that. Because you don't do that. You try your best to preserve the body for the funeral, for the family, to say their goodbyes. This corner, the state didn't even try. They just destroyed it. That's why I was pushed to believe there was some type of disfigurement or injury to the jaw that the state was hiding. So they saw it completely off. That is what I believe was going on with the job there was some type of disfigurement bruising evidence that they didn't want seen so the state saw the jawbone off that's what i personally believe obviously we don't know why he did it he he has never said actually why he saw the damn jawbone off but anyway there was no need for that and he says there was no need for that also t for missing You were taking teeth out. Why? Why the state took teeth out? They deliberately, the state deliberately destroyed Jelani's body. This is a crime. 
and my question that still has not been answered, even watching this, and the second pathologist says that's a crime. And my question was before I heard this, and it's still my question after. Will the state coroner be brought up on criminal charges for what he done to Jelani Day's body? That's not even been talked about. Something needs to be done on how he degraded this man. And like Carmen Day, is that really my son in the ground? You, you, you can't even confirm it's my son. Psychopathologists can't tell the skin. He can't, nothing. All he is told is the name. There's nothing else that he got that could confirm that unless you run DNA. That's a problem here. The state deliberately did this. Why? Were you told? Was it an order? What's the motive? Motive is to hinder matter and cause of death. Who put the order down? You did that for a reason. That's not how an autopsy is displayed. Those were samples that were taken to help by identify him or determine what was wrong with him. But I, I didn't do it, so I don't know. But you have never seen this kind of body before. I'm 50 years doing this kind of work. I started in 1971, and uh, that was that was the first body I ever had when I was in medical school. And uh, I've never seen one this bad, you know, basically destroyed. My God. I've handled air crashes. I've handled uh, terrible truck, truck drivers running over people. And uh, you can, this is the worst I've ever seen. And I, that says a lot right there. This man has seen bodies that came down in planes, helicopters. Jelani's day body was worse than that. And it didn't fall out the sky. It was in water for 10 days. 11 days. And he said that's worse than the bodies he dealt with out of helicopters. Make that make sense. That was help from a two-legged creature. That was help. From a body, a person that did that to Jelani. And I'm sure it's um, post-mortem, not, uh, not done to him while he was alive. So what does that suggest to you? He said it right there. He said it right there. He said it. I can tell you, this was not done. This was done after he was murdered. After he was dead. This wasn't done before. This wasn't done by the person who put him in the water. This was done by the coroner. By the state. Which I predicted. And this confirmed. Even the state. The, the, the autopsy report that James put out. It confirmed it. Him telling you this. Confirmed everything I said. That the state, when they had his body for 22 days, I knew he was doing things like this to Jelani. Because that's what they do when they want a certain manner or cause of death. When they cover up for murder. When they cover up for someone, they don't want to go down for something. This is a cover up. And he just told you this was done by someone after Jelani was dead. After. This was done by the corner. Sure, it needs to be done. Mm. And I'm not sure about that, that he was identified properly. It really was him that I examined. People, and uh, I couldn't. I could not identify the person. I mean, you're telling me it's your son, uh, but I, I couldn't confirm that. There was a name tag on the body bag, but there were no name tags on, on him. He didn't have a toe tag, for example, and he was not recognizable. And I couldn't tell how old the person was. There's just things. It was not, not, a, not a good exam. I, I, it was a second look autopsy of the worst kind. Mm. Mm. 
thing. So you can you you can determine who the body was. Yeah, I have my I have, I have questions about even who he is. I couldn't tell what race he is. Um, you know, I, I just knew that he was he was a it was he had a man's name. Uh, his eyeballs were missing from their sockets, and it was it looked like um, a destructive testing was done. It was a uh, his jaw was sawed, and some teeth were missing. And um, I suspect that those were samples that were taken to help I identify him or determine what was wrong with him. But I, I didn't do it, so I don't know. But you have never seen this kind of body before. Well, I'm 50 years doing this kind of work. I started in 1971, and uh, that, was, that was the first body I ever had when I was in medical school. And uh, I've never seen one this bad, you know, basically destroyed. My God. I've handled air crashes. I've handled uh, terrible truck truck drivers running over people. And uh, you can, this is the worst I've ever seen. And, I, and I'm sure it's um, post-mortem, not, uh, not done to him while he was alive. So what does that suggest to you when you, when you see a body like this? Uh, okay, some of it could be decomposition. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Something's popping up on my on my on my screen here. Some Where these pictures? Where these pictures come from? Not sure. I didn't do that. It's all right. Continue. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Where was I? Uh, okay. There, there was there was destructive some of this destructive testing, and they may have been taking samples for whatever testing they wanted for genetics or whatever to help identify him, but uh, I, 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 I wouldn't do this. Like, for example, um, if, you, if you need to take a bone marrow sample, on live patients, we can take bone marrow by inserting a needle in the hip bone, for example, to throw out the uh, central soft tissue that's in the center of the bones and get a bone marrow sample that way. Uh, I'd be They took out the whole femur. Uh, but I have to uh, come on here and do it. I don't know if it's something that you did. No, I, I didn't do it. So is there anything that can be The skin was off of his face and the name on the bag. I don't know. Uh, the, the name tag, the name tag on the on the body bag, but no name tag on Understood. Hmm. Wow. Sister Day, I'm so sorry that we had to relive that and bring that up. Uh, that's tough. My God. At yeah. this juncture, go ahead, sir. I could not determine the cause of death. And I'm not sure about that, that he was identified properly. It really was him that I examined. Understood. Can he restate the last sentence he said? I, I'm not convinced entirely that, that, I, that I had the right person because uh, the, the name tag there was a name tag on the on the body bag, but no name tag on the, on the toe, for example. So they could have had the, the wrong name on the bag. I don't know, and I couldn't. I, he was not identifiable. I couldn't tell how old he was, and uh, and the skin was off of his face completely, and it was just facial bones showing he was not presentable. So is there anything that can he had no skin? Skin completely removed. And the second thought said this was done post mortem. And we know the person that had the body. The first person that had the body was the state. Why, what, when, where, and how did you do that? You need to be brought up on charges. Criminal charges for degrading Jelani Day's body. And we know it was to hide and cover. And it was to hinder manner and cause of it. 
no skin. Also, the sex pathologist also said the genitalia, there was no genitalia. He could not tell you if Jelani, if this was Jelani at all. And that's why Carmen Day always questioned and says, I don't know if that was who my son that I buried. I don't know. This is why, because. Sex pathologist said all he know was the name. He could not tell if the, the body he got was black or white. Skin was missing. He could not tell you if he was a man or a woman. There was no genitalia. And for him to not be able to tell if he was a man or a woman, they must have completely removed the genitalia. Not in the way they want uh, the, the state want us to believe that it was just scraped and bruised and injured nah somebody completely removed it to where you can't tell if it was a woman or a man by a pathologist nah someone completely removed it so again the sex pathologist james bryant could not tell if jelani was black or white male or female body parts was missing he did not have all of the organs he could not tell how or what happened to Jelani. He don't even know who he looked at on the table. The state needs to be brought up on charges right now. You need to be held responsible for destroying Jelani Day's body. Hindering his autopsy. But we, because you know Mother Nature going to do her part. But you completely destroyed Jelani. Taking out organs. Saying they were smushed, help destroying organs, sawing off parts, second thoughts didn't even get all of Jelani. That's a crime. Pathologist said that's a crime. He needs to be brought up on charges and convicted. You cannot do this as a coroner. You're licensed, and people trust you with their loved ones. And you cannot be doing things like this. But you did. And y'all do. People do this. It's like the first time a coroner has hindered with a body. And it's not going to be the last. That's why Charles needs to be brought up. He needs to be held responsible for the world. Of what he did to Jelani Day. And where are those body parts? What did you do with them? We the people want to know. What did you do with Jelani body parts? You destroy them. What did you do? This your girl, Queen. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. I'll be back with another video. Peace.